Friday night football at Vernon High School. Vikings with the ball first. They have to punt. Matt Soltes, high snap, doesn't get it off. High point takes over at the Vernon 28-yard line. That sets up this four-yard touchdown run by Dylan Walsh. And the Wildcats take a 7-0 lead. Seven-play, 28-yard drive for high point. Vernon's next drive, though, Soltes completes over the middle to his tight end, Matt Fazio, for 17 yards to the high point, 45. Then it's sophomore Tyler Parrish up the middle. He'll go 15 yards down to the high point, 28-yard line. Second quarter, now 12th play of the drive. On second and goal, Saltas keeps it himself. Touchdown, Vernon. They now trail 7-6 after a missed extra point. A 65-yard drive. After a Vernon punt, pins high point back at their own 10-yard line. First play, they give it to junior Joe Gaccione. Breaks tackles up the sideline. He'll go 37 yards to the 47-yard line. Five plays later, it's Kevin Fasano, the quarterback, finding Gaccione for 15 yards over the middle to the Vernon 30. Next play, it's Dylan Walsh taking it in from the 30-yard line, puts on the speed, touchdown high point. Wildcats with a 14-6 lead at halftime. Third quarter now, after both teams trade punts, Saltis gets sacked by Nick Boyle, a five-yard loss, as the high point defense comes up big in the second half. After a Vernon punt, high point second play, Austin Caldwell, he'll go 37 yards into the end zone. Wildcats now with a big 21 to six lead. Austin Caldwell, 10 carries, 78 yards on the night. Fourth quarter, Vernon trying to get back into this game. Saltes pass falls incomplete on fourth down to Fazio. High point takes over and they'll never look back. Wildcats now with the ball. They run the option so well. Fasano will keep it himself. He'll run 18 yards up the middle down to the Vernon 15-yard line. Next play, it's Joe Beltran taking it down to the one-yard line. That's for 14 yards. And that will set up this one-yard touchdown run by Big Billy Smith, a 28-6 high point lead. After high point recovers a fumble, Joe Gaccione goes 27 yards on the first play, and High Point has broken this game open, a commanding 35-6 lead. Joe Gaccione, five carries, 106 yards, and a touchdown in tonight's game. High Point defense tough all night. Salt is scrambling, but is sacked once again by Nick Boyle, a three-yard loss this time. Now Vernon, one last chance. Saltas throws far side, and it's intercepted by Gaccione. High Point wins it 35-6. Wildcats up their record to 4-5. and five. Vernon drops to 1-8. and eight. It's an awesome feeling, and thank you. Um, we look forward to next week. I don't know who we're playing yet, but hopefully we can get another W and then 500. We did everything right tonight, and um, I don't know, we had a good week of practice. And uh, first half came out a little slow, but we picked it up in the second half. Coach never really stressed that much on us. He, the... Um, right, the Record's really nothing to us. It's just a matter of giving it all at the end of the day and uh, playing our hardest. Uh, making mental mistakes is one of the things we used to do in the past. And the last two games, what build up to us is we're playing physical, we're playing with emotion, and we're bringing it every game, which is something we haven't done here in a long time. A lot of credit goes to this high point team. Coming off a 35-0 loss a couple of weeks ago to Pope John, they bounce back, beat Parsippany Hills, and beat Vernon here tonight. We weren't very good two weeks ago, and, and I was proud of the kids for bouncing back. Uh, last week and then you know we told them you know good teams can put back to back good games in a row you know let's we'll see where we're at with our program is it was it just one game and and you know back down to, to not as good play or, or can we just keep building on it and, and and to their credit they kept building on it it was nerve-wracking we had a short week of practice we had uh in school we had out of schools on um thursday and friday so it was a short week we knew these guys were going to come at us with all they got and we came out here in the second half more fired up and we did good the high point defense gives up just six points tonight. Very young, just two seniors starting on defense. We've been working on our secondary a lot because at the beginning of the season it was weak, and I think we've definitely gotten that's one of our better points now. And we're good on defense, I think. We're strong. We work a lot on defense, and uh, defense is probably one of our strong points. And uh, hopefully it carries on to uh, this next game, my senior year. You know, we uh, traditionally have a tough defense, even when my brother was here. So uh, hopefully we keep it up, and that's what brings us to this five and five.